Hello, Nara. My name is Sean Everett. I am the website analysis expert over at Zucker Marketing. Uh, thanks for talking with Eric. He sent your website over for this uh, free analysis. And um, I, I found out some very interesting things uh, that I think you might be interested in hearing that will help you because your website should be a tool of your business that helps bring in customers and makes you money. And I think that you are missing some opportunities here. Uh, and let me show you why. Uh, I am, I'm just going to show you this to, uh, just out of the blue. It's uh, a Google search for Albuquerque roofers. Now, as you can see, the top three here are ones who have paid to be in the spot. Um, but even they have an order that is uh, determined by a Google algorithm. I'll talk about that more in a second. Underneath these guys who paid, there are the map pack. These folks have gone to Google and filled out a Google business profile. If you haven't done that, go and do that. Uh, 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 it will ask you what your website is. It'll ask for proof that you own it. And then it will have a bunch of questions like, what are your hours every day? How long have uh, you been in business? What year did you start? Your website, your address, obviously. There's some tick boxes. Make sure that everything is filled out as thoroughly as you can because Google algorithm believes that if you are thorough about filling out their profile, then you are going to be more worthy of being higher on their web results. So uh, it's worth to spend the time on it. You can do this yourself. Go there, fill out the Google profile, and uh, you're going to have a much greater opportunity to be up here in the map pack. But there are some other numbers that I need to show you about. And here's more. Now, underneath the map pack are what we call the organic search results. And these are ones that are solely determined by the Google algorithm. Um, people believe that they are in some random order. They are not. Google actually ranks them because Google wants people who search on Google to have uh, um, relevant search results. So they have this algorithm that determines who has a more relevant website or not. Now, um, Alvarado Roofing is the first one that comes up under Angie's List, GAF, and Better Business Bureau. And uh, I'm going to show you their website. Here it is. Nothing special. Yours is as good. Um, I'm not interested in the aesthetic. I'm only interested in the guts of it. And here, I'm going to do something right off the bat. This is, I'm going to cut and paste. Select all, cut, and paste your website into this word counter. You have 1,913 words. That is awesome. That is something that you are doing right. Here is Alvarado's. Uh, they are. Let's see here. 774. You are beating the pants off of them. Google wants a minimum of 1,500 words. You have exceeded that. Um, here's the thing. Um, all words are not created equal. So you may have more words, but I'm going to show you where uh, things sort of go astray. Here is a tool that I use for uh, uh, analyzing websites. It's called Ahrefs. And... Um, this has a bunch of metrics on it. This shows the strength of your website. Uh, this shows the backlinks that you have. You're doing really great in that category. This is the keywords. Now, those are the words that I was talking about. Keywords and key phrases. Now, uh, your traffic has only been seven. I'm going to go to the Alvarado uh, tool that I use and show you the same thing. They may not have as many backlinks as you do, but they have way more keywords. And that's where you are lacking because their traffic is 648 and yours is 7. Traffic refers to the number of people who have clicked through a Google search to get to your website. So uh, what you want to do is increase your keywords. Let me show you what the keywords are. These are actual searches that people have done to find a roofer in Albuquerque, roofing companies, Albuquerque, Albuquerque roofing companies. Roofing Albuquerque, Roofers Albuquerque. It's just variations of the theme. A lot of people will type whatever is in their head to a search, but you want to have those keywords and key phrases covered in your site. You want to have the word roofer. You want to have the word roofing. You want to have every uh, permutation possible for all these roofing companies, roofing contractors, metal roofing. You want all of these options from your uh, uh, business, from your uh, industry, to be keywords that are available on your website. Because if somebody types in, you know, that 
particular phrase in that particular order, it will pull up your website as opposed to Alvarado because you will have had it. Uh, uh, here is another thing. You have your, your backlinks. You have a ton of them. You have a ton of them. They are where one website refers back to yours. I don't know how you got 10,000 backlinks. I, I, I almost feel like getting up and applauding you. I've never seen a company have that many. You are doing that really well. This is usually something that I have to help people get up. But <laughs> right now, keywords, excuse me for the cough. Um, right now, the keywords is where you're deficient, and that's why your traffic is only seven. You should have way more uh, clicks on your site. It's a beautiful site. And this site will bring you in more money. It will be a tool of your business if people actually can click on it and find out more about you and, and ask for an estimate. You know how it all works. And one of the ways of doing that uh, is getting on this gosh darn Google search. And uh, we know how to get you there. We know what the algorithm is. I've told you what the algorithm is during the course of this uh, uh, video. And... Um, and I think that you would probably rather spend your time roofing than figuring out what the uh, keywords are and the uh, backlinks could be for your website. So if, if, any of this, if, if any of this to improve your website makes any sense to you, please give Eric a call back and he will guide you through the next steps. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.